get once you get everything activated. And on the left here, you can see the currently active trading pairs. Now trading pairs are basically the pairs that Gunbot will be scanning through with whatever strategy you've selected, which I'll go through in just a minute. And then on this main screen here, you can see the price history. This is basically just a trading view chart. And you can also see some of the information that the trading bot is currently looking at. So one of the strategies that I currently have activated right now is a support and resistance trading strategy where it will automatically look for different support and resistance levels and then buy and sell based off of that information. And so on the chart, you can see that currently it sees a resistance level at around $1.26 and a support level at around 90 cents. And then once the price goes through one of these levels, then it will either buy or sell depending on what happens with the price action. And these are all configurable options. However, it's really cool that they now have an active chart where you can see this data as well as where the bot buys and sells with little red and green arrows that will show up over time as the bot trades. However, since this is a new instance that I just set up for this video, currently there is no trading history on this specific instance of the bot. Next, I will go over how to add trading pairs to Gunbot, and there are actually a lot of new features here that you will see, which are extremely important to the general setup of this new and updated Gunbot. So first off, you can, you can select the exchange which you would like to trade with, and Gunbot now has a very wide selection of exchanges that you can trade on. Basically, every exchange that you could want is now supported by Gunbot. Next, you can select the pair. So let's say I want to trade DOT to BUSD. And finally, I can select the strategy, which I'll go over in just a minute. And then I can click add. And once I have added a pair to Gunbot, then I can enable and disable different features as well as select overrides. So what this means is if I select an override for a specific pair, then let's say that I want to have specific settings for ADA, but I also want to have different settings for DOT while operating with the same strategy. So I'm using the same test strategy on both DOT and ADA, but let's say that on ADA, I want to have a more aggressive specific value for one of my strategy components, then I can set an override value and it will only apply that, that specific value to that specific pair. Now, another cool thing that you can do with these trading pairs is now you can use filter rules instead of just adding a single pair. So instead of just manually selecting every single pair, I can choose a base currency, I can choose an exchange, and I can choose a strategy, and then I can choose a filter. So let's say that I want the 24 hour volume to be above 100 USDT, or maybe let's put a more realistic value. Uh, let's put something like a million USDT. Then what will happen is once I add this, it will filter all of the pairs. So let's see here, add a filter rule and then click filter. It will search for pairs and then it will add all of the pairs with above 1 million USDT in trading volume. This is a super cool feature because it really makes it a lot easier to add a bulk number of pairs or to add pairs that are only specifically above a certain filter that you would like to select instead of manually selecting all of them. I really like this feature because it makes it way easier as I tend to just trade pairs based on being above a specific volume. However, you can also stack filters on top of each other. If you want it to be, for example, above a specific volume, but also it has gone up, let's say 10% in the past day, you can do that as well. So that's a very cool feature. And that's just the basic features that you can use for trading pairs. Next, the most important thing, of course, is the strategies. So let's just make a very simple strategy here on Gunbot. So first you can select 
your buy method, and then you can select your sell method. Now here you might see, okay, there are just a couple of strategies that you can select from. Actually, yes, there are quite a few strategies that you can select from, but there are even more features once you select a specific strategy. So let's say that I want to use MACD as my buy method, and as my sell method, I would like to use support and resistance. So that means, uh, you know, most likely once it goes to resistance, then it will sell. Next, I can click create on this strategy. And this is where you will really see the vast optionality that Gunbot offers you. So of course, I have my basic settings for just my initial buy strategy. So I can change uh, basically everything I want on MACD. However, then I can also change specific settings that make it even more granular. So let's say that not only do I want to use MACD, but I also want to add more filters to the strategy where it will only use the MACD buy if the stock RSI is above a specific level. Or if, for example, if ADX is at a certain value, etc. You can stack indicators on top of each other. So not only now am I using MACD, but I'm also using stock RSI. I'm also using ADX. Uh, and you can change all of these options here as well as the base indicator options. So if I just want to change the options for MACD, then I can choose my period. This is basically the trading candle period. So do I want to use 15 minute candles, one minute candles, or a much longer period candles. And I can change the specific EMAs on the MACD, et cetera, as well as the balance, the balance settings. This is just how much the bot is trading per trade. And then I can choose more features such as dollar cost average. So do I want the bot to slowly buy as the price goes down? It's probably not the best idea, but you can experiment with that. There's also a feature called reversal trading, where basically if the price moves down, it will then sell, but then look to buy at a level further down. So let's say you have a strategy where a lot of the time it will tell you to buy as the price is moving down. So what you can do is you can select reversal trading. So it will buy as the price is moving down, but then if it keeps moving down, it will sell and then wait to buy again once it is bottomed out. So you can try to do something like that with reversal trading. You can do trail me, which is basically a trailing stop loss, which if you don't know what that is, then let's say I have a stop loss at a certain price level. So I say I want to sell once the price has moved up 10% but I will only sell after it's gone up 2% if it then falls down 2%. So let's say the price moves up 10% and then it keeps going up 20% and then it goes down to 18% since it went down that 2%, then it will finally sell. So that's a certain option that you can use with trail me in combination with everything that I've mentioned before with the buy indicator, with the sell indicator and all of those extra settings. We also have margin trading now on GunBot, so there are a lot of exchanges that now support margin trading. Uh, miscellaneous features, which you can look over in the GunBot wiki. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the strategy options. Next, what I wanna show you, this is probably one of my favorite features, is the new auto config method. So let's create a auto config method called test one and I want to automate adding pairs. So let's create this. And now what this allows you to do, what auto config allows you to do, is it allows you to make adjustments to your strategy, to your pairs while the bot is running. So normally, let's say that I wanted to select a certain filter for my pairs. So let's say I decide that I only want to trade pairs with over 100 Bitcoin in trading volume. Then what I can do, as I showed earlier, is I can go to the pairs and I can manually select a filter and say that I only want to trade when these specific pairs are above 100 Bitcoin in volume. However, over time, maybe some of those pairs are going to go down in volume and it's no longer going to be above my filter. So what you used to have to do in the past is you would have to manually, again, filter those pairs and then add it and start the bot again. But now with auto config, you can do this all automated. 
So what you can do is you can schedule certain events with specific filters in order to modify your pairs or your strategies. So let's say that I want to decide to do that every five minutes or every four hours or tw every 12 hours, I will add pairs that have a specific value. So I'm going to add pairs that have gone up 10% in the past 24 hours, or I, I want to add pairs that have a 24 hour volume above 1000 BTC. I can do things like this and then it will automatically check for these specific filters every certain amount of time and I can do it not only to add pairs but to remove pairs, to change the strategy, to manage overrides. So let's say that I have a strategy for a bull market and a strategy for a bear market, then I can run a filter and I can say, okay, if Bitcoin has gone up 10% in the last 24 hours, then I want to run my bull strategy and if it's gone down, then I want to run my bear strategy. Or I can do many things like this, I can decide to hedge. Um, basically, the options are limitless for auto config. I think it's one of the coolest features. And I definitely recommend that if you end up using Gunbot, this is probably one of the necessary things that you do have to set up, even if it's a little bit more complicated, just because of how cool this functionality can be in combination with the different strategies and the different pairs. And of course, this might sound super complicated. I'm sure I just went through everything super quickly. But the good thing about Gunbot is that everything is well documented. As I mentioned before, there is now the Gunbot Wiki, which has been around for a very long time. It's been edited, it's been curated, everything's added to the Gunbot Wiki. So everything that I've covered in this video in much more detail is on the Gunbot Wiki. And if you're just using Gunbot for the first time, there are new features in Gunbot that will help you set up things very easily. So if I just want to choose a trading pair, configure a basic strategy, review the settings, then there's this nice easy edit button that I can use in order to just get a feel for what I'm doing. And that's one of the best things about Gunbot in my opinion is it's very user friendly. There's so many options you can do as basic or as complicated as you want. So it makes it a really great learning tool in order to get into automated trading. One of the most important things to understand is that with automated trading, nothing that is sold to you will be profitable out of the box, right? If I have an automated trading strategy that is profitable, 